What's going on guys? So today we are going to talk about the match. It just happened and there's so much data that I want to unpack and I want to give you some great insights. So let's get into it. Overview. What is the match? some casual observations, then I'm going to give you a link to some of the data that just came out, and then I'm also going to show you an awesome graph which I found on uh, Student Doctor Network, but I think also provides some great insights uh, for any of you med students who want to know what the competitive specialties are, what schools are getting uh, high match rates, and ultimately what is the match looking like. So just some casual information here, what is the match? Well the match is essentially a time after four years of medical school, whether that's MD or DO, international, whatever it is, if you want to do residency in the United States, you have to participate in the match. In the match, you essentially apply to a bunch of programs, they interview you, and then you rank what programs you like. The programs that you interviewed at will also then rank what students they liked. And then all of it gets run through a magic random algorithm that decides what program you will then participate at. Um, it essentially matches you up, which is why it's called the match. So I want to go through the data of this year's match and ultimately help you guys understand what works and what it doesn't. So I want to now put on my glasses to show you it's getting real. So here are some casual observations, right? So the first thing I want to show is that there are different categories here. The first one is seniors of US MD schools. The second one is graduates of US MD schools. And then, you know, seniors of US DO schools and then graduates of US DO schools. And then you have IMGs under here. The way to interpret this data is that the seniors of USMD schools is someone who is at a USMD school right now and a senior there. So just finished all four years and is a senior. The graduates of USMD schools are individuals who graduated from USMD schools and have been out from that graduation. So they're not currently a senior, which means they did not either match or they're reapplying or they maybe went work consulting for a few, for a few years and are coming back. Same thing with DS, DO schools as well as IMGs, which are listed here. And now I want to show you how to interpret this data. The first part tells you the total number of those applicants. So you can see that there were 19,866 USMD seniors, and of them, 18,435 matched, which is a match rate of 92.8%. If we now look at that for USMD school graduates, not seniors, but graduates, the match rate is a bit lower at 48.2%. Uh, similarly, seniors of US DO schools, DO medical schools, there were 7,101, 6,327 match, which gives a match rate of 89%. You can go down the list and do the same thing, but basically you'll see that the match rates are usually the highest for US MD and US DO seniors, not graduates, but seniors, which means the um, uh, people who get into these schools and then apply for residency have higher match rates, which is obviously one of the big things you often learn, which is why DO and MD schools in the US are often um, seen as like a, a better conservative approach to making sure you match. So now some casual observations, even just based on this, if we want to break it down by specialty, one of my Yale Medical School classmates actually tweeted this and I thought it was really helpful. For US MD seniors, the specialties with the lowest match rates included direct cardiothoracic programs, direct ENT programs, and direct vascular surgery programs. And again, the way we're going to get to this, this conclusion, note that it's for US MD seniors, not for any other uh, category below. Uh, we mentioned US MD seniors. For them, the most competitive specialties were CT, ENT, and vascular. So how do you get to these numbers? Well, so you can see here, if you go to the data, again, linked below, you go to table 1A, it shows you from MD seniors, which is what this um, image is referring to. If you go to thoracic surgery, you can see that 89 MD seniors applied, and of those 89, 43 matched, right? If I do the math, 43 divided by 89, that gives me a match rate for MD seniors of about 48.3%, and that's how you get the 48%. Now you go to otolaryngology, you can see that there are 454 MD seniors who applied and 310 match. So 310 divided by 454 gives 68%, right? So that's a 68% match rate for ENT. And again, vascular surgery, again, there were 94 USMD seniors that applied, 65 matched. So 65 divided by 94 gives a 69.1% match rate. So that shows you some of the match rates and how they're calculated. And you can go through all of the data and do this for different specialties that you're interested in. 
But these three were the most competitive for US MD seniors. You can do the same for MD uh, seniors for other specialties. You can also do it for DO seniors and other specialties. Feel free to do that. I just wanted to give you the tools and equip you with the information that I have in my head. Um, and again, you can do this for DOs. You can do this for international medical graduates uh, because all the data is linked in the uh, table below in that little description box. So help yourself. And the last thing I want to end on is that there's always some level of insight into what prestigious schools are and how they match for competitive specialties and what even are the competitive specialties. Well, first and foremost, you can already tell cardiothoracic is relatively competitive, ENT, relatively competitive, vascular surgery, also relatively competitive. But there are also other specialties such as dermatology, um, uh, interventional radiology, and all of that. So here's an interesting graph, which I've also linked in the description below and how it was made. Someone on SDN did this, so I take no credit for it. Um, and basically what they did was that they, on the x-axis, the uh, class size of each um, school, the estimated class size, right? So Yale can traditionally almost always has around 100 students in every class. So it makes sense that when we graduate, about 100 of us match, right? Uh, similarly, on the y-axis are the number of people who match into competitive specialties. These are competitive specialties just based on history. So derm, ophthalmology, um, I think P is plastic surgery, E is ENT, otolaryngology, and N is neurosurgery. So if you now sum the total number of students who match into the competitive specialties and then put that over the x-axis, which is the class size, you will then get people who matched into the competitive specialties divided by the total number of people in that class. Um, and so again, you'll just kind of see here, uh, based on the way class sizes are, you would expect that the larger the class size, the more people match into competitive specialties, just purely because of the amount of people in the class. But again, here are some great standouts. I'm really proud of my school, of course. Yale matched really well. Vandy's here, Stanford's here, Wash U's excellent, NYU, Duke, Emory, BU, UF. So I just thought this was a great graph because I know a lot of people care about com competition. I know a lot of people also care about what schools match well. And so this is just a great place to kind of visually understand everything. And again, I take no credit for this graph, uh, but I thought it was a great way to pictorially represent a lot of great data in one place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope if you matched, you match well. I have no doubt that if you're watching one of these videos, you will match well in the future because you're preparing yourself. So with that, I will sign off. Thanks for watching and uh, peace.